Hi, welcome back to the lab. I have a fun experiment to do. It's really cool, uh, but I don't need safety goggles this time. I need safety gloves because I have food coloring in water and I'd rather my hands not be purple later. So um, it's sometimes hard to get out. So you might want to use those or if you don't mind, it's okay. So the only other thing I have is a piece of string and I'm going to put it inside the one with water and hold it there. And then I have an empty cup now. And I'm gonna pull the cord really tight. And I'm gonna try my best to pour this without spilling anything. It, the water is just gonna travel into the cup through the string. Look at that. This chain's not normally this coordinated, so this is a miracle in itself. You are watching. Watch it wrap around the cord. Instead of it going straight down into the cup. Wow, look at that. See if I can do all of it. So I'm not doing anything special. I'm not that talented. I'm just holding the cord on both ends and I can move the cup up. Can't move it that much apparently. So do this on a surface that's protected. Here we go. Traveled down the cord. Isn't that cool? So you can do that at home with some simple things you find around the house. Okay, but make sure you know, uh, mom and dad know that you're doing it and have permission since you're using food coloring and that does stain things. So you want your surface to be protected. So stay tuned. I have one more experiment for you to do at home. Hi everyone. I know I told you we were only gonna have two science experiments today, but I got another one to work. I've been trying and I couldn't get it to work just right, but I got it to. That's the great thing about science experiments and why it's called an experiment. You keep going until you get it to work or to do what you want it to. So I have one um, more to add to the list. So I'm gonna put on my safety goggles. I don't think it's necessary this time, but we are gonna put some, uh, get a little bit of a chemical reaction. So this is one you can try at home as long as you are with parents, okay? Because of some very important things going in here. But it might be things that you have inside your house. So we're gonna make a lava lamp. I don't know if you know what one of those are. They were really popular back in like the 1970s, but now they're kind of popular too, just because of that. Um, but it's cool, you just watch bubbles um, floating up through it and you can turn it on and it's usually built into a lamp. Well, all I've done is taken my vase here and I have filled it um, a good ways with oil, okay? It's just cooking oil, nothing else in there, okay? And then I'm going to take some water and you can have a smaller container than I have and still get this to work, but you just wanna add water to the top of it. Oil and water don't mix, okay? And so you're gonna quickly see the water go down to the bottom and the oil is gonna separate and come to the top. Well, that's why this is gonna work in just a minute. So I'm gonna take some food coloring. You guys know how much I love food coloring, okay? And I'm using green because Joseph's brothers were jealous. And sometimes we say people who are jealous are like a, um, a green-eyed monster. They're not monsters, it's just an expression. But I just thought it'd be funny to choose green. So I'm just gonna put a few drops around. Doesn't have to be in any particular order. I just don't wanna do them all in the same place. Okay, so they're gonna fall down to the bottom. And then I'm gonna take Alka-Seltzer. And I just bought a generic one, but it's something, uh, medicine that some people take when their stomach's upset, okay? And it helps them feel a little bit better. And so I'm just gonna drop one in. And the special thing about this type of medicine is it bubbles up like this and uh, they call it effervescent. And so that's gonna help us with our lava lamp. So I'm just gonna drop pieces of it. It comes in a big tablet like this, but I'm gonna um, break it up 
and then just drop a few in. And we get to watch the reaction. So it'll take a minute for the food coloring drops to start getting in on the action. I'll move my Alka-Seltzer so you can see. Now as it dissolves, it makes those bubbles. I'm gonna do one more, just see how crazy it is with all of that going. That's pretty cool, isn't it? See if I can hold it up a little bit closer to you. And you make your own lava lamp. So some of the drops of food coloring have merged together and you've got bigger globs and others that aren't. That's something you can do at home. Let's see it close up and see if you can see it better. Let's watch this again close up. We're just gonna put some oil into this glass jar. And however big your container is, you just don't wanna fill it to the top. I'm not gonna waste that much oil, so I'm gonna um, just stop there. And then we just take plain water and fill up a little bit more. So if you did to the top of your container, that's fine. This is just pretty tall. All right, now I'm just gonna take some food coloring and put a few drops in, whatever color you want. Since we talked about the coat of many colors, I'm gonna do several different colors and see. Sometimes it's better just to do one though. But we're just gonna see what it looks like. Now the food coloring is water-based, so it's gonna to sink to the bottom and mix with the water, but the oil is gonna stay on the top. Now I'm gonna take the Alka-Seltzer and just drop one in at a time and see what happens to those food coloring drops. It looks like one color is bubbling up more like the blue or the green, I guess. So we'll wait for the others to. We'll make our own lava lamp. Uh-oh, I put too many colors. Now it's gonna be a black lava lamp. <laughs> I like that path right there. That's kind of cool looking, right? What a fun experiment. You can try this at home with a grown up. I think that's a pretty cool experiment. You get to try some different things at home and watch and see what happens. It's not gonna last long and you can't do it too often because oil would get expensive doing that and wasting that much that, uh, that often. But you probably have all of these things in your house or could easily get them. So ask mom or dad or grandma or grandpa if you can do this experiment too. And you can try the all different colors and get the black uh, by the end or you can just choose your favorite color food coloring to put in. I hope you have a great week. Stay tuned, we got one more to go. Hi everyone, welcome back to the lab. I have a fun experiment that you can do at home. It is pretty cool, but super easy to do. All you need is a Ziploc bag that just has a really good seal and you fill it as much as you can with water. The, the plastic needs to be pretty tight. And so it sometimes helps to have two people doing this because sealing it is a little bit of a trick when you've got a bag full of water, but it's, uh, it's doable. And then I'm gonna take colored pencils. We're about to go back to school, right? And you get these pencils out. You need a sharp pencil. It does not have to be a colored pencil. I just thought since our story today was on um, Joseph and his coat of many colors that I'd use colored pencils. I am going to stab this uh, bag and push the pencils all the way through without any water uh, coming out, or I'm gonna try. So let's watch and see. I don't have anything to help me if this starts pouring out. So, well, it's pouring out beforehand, but that's not because of the whole, okay, there we go. 
All right, let's go. Here comes the first one. I chose orange color we're using at church, right? Look at that. The polymers in the bag and the water blend and form a seal around the pencil as it goes in. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Ooh, yellow, red, orange, yellow. green, blue, and I gotta find a path all the way, and purple. Look at that, I've got my rainbow bag. Now, here's the tip, do this outside, and then as you pull the pencils out, you've got like a little water fountain coming out on both ends, and have a little fun that way too. I hope you have a great week, and remember, Jesus loves you more than you could imagine.